All right, guys, welcome back to another edition of the Bullring. And I have another update for you guys on SPY. As you can see, the market is actually pulling back this time. And it's pulled back more than what we've seen in the past, at least more than the $8 drops here and there. Look at that. We went down $9.50, guys. Okay. And this is a very easy pattern. I know a lot of people have reached out to me and they wanted to know what's next, what's next, because you own shares and you own calls. Okay. Look, these are normal and healthy pullbacks, guys. Okay. That is what we call a bear flag. Now, when you get a bear flag and the stock market or the stock actually breaks, okay, that trend line there, guys, the easiest way to know where it's going to go, which I've been watching this closely, it will not lie to you. Look at that. Okay. So we have the same thing happening down here. Okay. We have potentially another bear flag forming, guys. Okay. Now, it did try to break out here. Now, I don't know. Is that a false breakout? Maybe, maybe not. Okay. So be careful with SPY. Okay. Now, the measured move down was extra, was more than what we had before. Look at that. Okay. Now, what's next for SPY? Well, if we look at the big picture and remember, always look left on your stocks, guys. Look left. Okay. We do have some support right in here about the 515 area. We have another support line waiting for us down here. And if you want to learn how to do these charts, guys, all you have to do is ask. I've got some free courses on this. Okay. Teach you how to set up your lines with some default templates make it easy on you okay so we have this move here guys now can we see this happening tomorrow potentially yes okay we could be into the 511 area now we could go down if we break the support we can definitely see us coming down to this 510 area and speaking about the 510 area guys what a great number i do remember somebody talking about this the other day guys and this is very interesting so i want to point some stuff out i've been leaving a lot of breadcrumbs a lot of seeds now if you look at the bull ring on my youtube channel guys okay i've left a lot of videos letting you guys know what's going on with spy all right, so let me just show you the first one since we are speaking about 510 was here, guys. Then I said here it's over for spy. And then I'm also showing you in this video time to short this stock. And if you go into the video, you'll see what I'm talking about. And here we go. This was a day ago. It's happening, guys. And then this morning, special edition before the market opened up. So you understand that it was going to happen and what's next for SPY. I'm going to continue leaving videos, guys. If you're finding value in it and if you think that these are helping your trading, do me a favor, subscribe, hit the like button, and then smash that notification button so that you get alerted the next time I post up a video. Okay. So we know SPY might be headed there, guys. Another thing that tells me it could happen, okay, two things. This is a big gap here, okay. SPY will probably fill that, okay. Let me show you something else, okay. So we'll move this over, okay. And we also have a gap that can get filled there, okay. Because this was the top for SPY today or this morning, okay and spy could potentially go up into there will it do it i don't know okay depends on what the market makers are trying to do guys but keep this on your charts and understand that spy is in a middle of a pullback and it could potentially go down this could be the major pullback if you guys remember the last video i posted or the few videos i posted i showed you guys the rising wedge that is ready to fall now let's talk about Tesla guys. Tesla came out with numbers today 
that the market did not like. Uh, I saw some tweets, some people were not friendly to Tesla saying those are garbage numbers and a lot of other stuff that I don't want to repeat here. But we did see it in a rising channel, guys. And look, okay, Tesla is halfway there. 155, we did talk about it in the video before yesterday that we will see a fall in Tesla. And I continue to see this happening at least this week. I started shorting Tesla guys on Thursday last week. Now, there's an easy and inexpensive way to short Tesla. If you guys want to know, send me a DM, leave a comment here, however you want to do it, and I'll show you guys how easy it is to do. All right, let's talk about Microsoft, our biggest market cap, guys. And we talked about this in the video the other day, and we still see it heading down. Okay, let me uh, demonstrate something here for you guys. So we did see it come from here and we said that this was going to be the implied move. Okay, we did get under this support area and they're trying to bounce it back. But if you guys see, this is starting to look like a bear flag as well for uh, Microsoft. So 4.15 is still the go. Now again, Microsoft uh, average true range is not huge. It's not like Nvidia is gonna move 24, $30, but it is headed down and if, Microsoft continues to go down, guys. Spy is going to follow. Okay, another one that um, Spy will follow as well is Apple, guys. Now, I did do a head and shoulders the other day, okay? And remember, this is called the neckline right at the bottom here. If Apple breaks that neckline, which means that it starts selling off, we could see 158. That's going to be the implied move, guys. And if you want to know how did I get that? We take the measured move from the head down to the neckline, and then we bring it down here. So you understand how this works. Also got courses on that. I'm gonna leave you guys a description below with a link. All right, now I wanna take a look at Amazon guys. So Amazon again, like Tesla, is in a rising channel. But if you look at the midline on the rising channel, we are under it, which means that it could start making a move down and you see that it's come back up to the mid channel or midline i should say and it's rejected so this tells me the implied move can come down here to 167. Now i do want to point out that it did have support here support there and then a couple of lines in here if i expand that you'll see that it had support so will it go past it I don't think so, guys. I think Amazon is really loved and people are keeping it up there no matter what happens to the stock market. If it did go under 167, guys, that would be a big surprise to me. But Amazon is holding strong. I do believe it's going to keep pulling back. So keep an eye on Amazon because Amazon will help SPY go down. Now, next I want to cover and lastly is QQQ, guys. Um, I know for two reasons. One, I want you to see the similarities on this versus SPY. If you look at it, okay, two different ETFs, guys, two different trusts. And look at that. You see anything similar in there, okay? They're doing the same thing. Unfortunately, this is how it works in the stock market. Now, depends on what your budget is if you want to buy qqq or spy if you're playing the option games obviously qqq might be a little bit cheaper for you guys but just like we said with uh spy i want to show you that qqq is doing the same thing guys um and it's almost kind of one of those you know hey you know nothing to see here right so we have uh bear flags just happening left and right and so here we are again qqq is looking very bearish as well guys okay so sometimes i'll just do the l when i'm doing charts on my own at home uh, i don't draw out the whole bear flag but i'll do it for you guys here so you can see so now what can be the implied move for qqq so we're looking at if it does drop out, it'll drop out maybe somewhere up here Okay, you might see 434. Now, the other reason I wanted to show you guys QQQ, okay, and if you have TradingView, this is one of the cool things you can do with TradingView is you come up here and you hit this plus sign and you add another symbol. Let's add NVIDIA with a new price scale. 
and we're going to see I'm going to change candles over to line and you guys see something similar here right let me get rid of my drawings um, if Nvidia is too fast for you guys okay same thing Nasdaq do QQQ because it is following Nvidia like I don't know what the like is. Ooh, got a little difference there. But it is following NVIDIA, which is one of the heaviest uh, that it's holding in its portfolio. All right, I've taken off one of my indicators, guys, to show you a cleaner look. And you can see the difference in the price scales, right? Uh, but it does follow it very well, guys. So if you want something that's going to move slower, but you want to get in on something like an NVIDIA move, which QQQ will do it. I will suggest that you go in with low volume of call or put options. If you want to buy shares, that's up to you, but scale up. So let's say you said, I'm going to do one NVIDIA, but it didn't go well for you. So you do one QQQ call or put, and then little by little, you'll see that, Hey, it's slower. I can manage it better. Then you can move up to two, maybe three. But for now, if you like NVIDIA, guys, this is something that you consider. All right. Now, tomorrow, SPY, guys, we have some news in the morning. It's going to go up and down because of the ADP employment numbers. Okay. Now, if you want to know what's going to happen, if you're one of those person that wants to predict it, okay, go back to the chart and see what it did before. That's one of the things that you get in the bull ring. If you guys join, I provide that to you guys. But for now, guys, I'm wishing you a green day tomorrow. And don't forget your stop loss.